the moment you've all been waiting for this perfectly styled pre-lace synthetic wig by Zuricis. I'm going to be doing a full review and talk through. Continue to watch if you like. So you guys, this wig is a 13 by 5, 13 around the hairline, 5 inches of parting space. She has two clips on each side as well as two straps, one thick one in the middle and the smaller one that comes regularly on the back. I would say this hair is about 22 inches. The crimps actually look really good for it to be synthetic, you guys. Like it looked like I crimped it myself. I don't know what this is about, but as you can see, like it's layered. So like the top crimps are kind of shorter than the bottom crimps. I don't know why that is, but just wanted to point that out. My absolute favorite part of the wig. I just feel like the front is perfection. Get it close up, it's perfect. Like the, the everything is perfect. Like whoever you know style this i have to give it to you because usually with synthetic wigs the styling is like off and it's like no but whoever was on that team to style this wig exactly like this did an amazing job yeah so i don't want this video to be too long it doesn't need to be too long because this is this wig is already you know pre-styled all i'm basically going to do for you today you guys is just um lay down the lace do the baby hairs i'm gonna add like a few accessories to it or whatever i don't know exactly what this i feel like there's so many like cute styles i can do like i can put this up like that i told you guys i decided to tint the lace um this is the color cap that i have on and it's like a it has a little bit of makeup on it i kind of put a little bit of makeup on it but it's a tan you know color so it you know it kind of matches my scalp but i'm gonna go ahead and tint the lace anyway and i use the even tinted lace spray it looks like this. I got it from my local beauty supply store. It is in medium brown. You can just turn it like this, you know, upside down, and I just spray everything in the lace. So you can see. Very lightly, it doesn't have to be super heavy. So I tinted the lace, you guys, you can see. It is tinted, and what I love about this spray is it dries immediately. Like I said in my latest video, I had a, a tint spray. I'm not gonna say what it was. So I won't put nobody on blast, but I had a tint spray, and I loved it, but oh my God, look at her outfit. I obviously put the wig back on, and the lace is tinted. Um, you can definitely see a difference. Like it's more brown, it matches me. And I know when I cut the lace to melt, it will definitely melt in with my skin tone. So tinting, to la tinting the lace was a necessity for me. You know what? I wanted to use something different today instead of blue. Um, I wanted to use this adhesive spray by Eben, which is the same company that I have this from. And I don't know where the top went, it mysteriously disappeared. I have a yellow bottle, which is not like super, super hold. And this one is extreme firm hold. And to me, it just made sense to get that. Like, if I'm gonna wear a wig, I want it to be extremely on hold. Like, why would I want not want it to be? Fast drying, no residual buildup, um, and 10 times holds for lace. It says the number one choice. We'll, we'll be the judge of that. Directions is starting with a clean and dry surface. Spray product from two to four inches away from hair onto the hairline or desired area. Allow to air dry until tacky or use a blow dryer on cool setting. Remember guys, I always told you that. You don't want it on hot because sweat, that doesn't make it stick. Um, repeat the process two to three times to ensure a secure hold. Once tacky, apply the lace as you would and tie down. Allow to sit for 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do exactly what the bottle says. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back, pull my wig back. They say in the, in the rap song, we'll push your wig back. <laughs> um, yeah, so let me just push my wig back. Literally, <laughs> literally, okay. So this is how far is it want, I want to go. Yes, my forehead is huge and I hide it with my legs.
Okay, it feels tacky, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hurry up and put the lace down. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. Okay, super, super tight. I don't know if I put it too far down on my forehead because of the baby hairs. So I don't want it to look like I got baby hairs on my eyebrows. But at the same time, like I told you guys, I have a big forehead, child. So I like to keep it, you know, my weight low. I like my I like my weight down, low, down, low, down, low, down, low, down, low. I'm so old. Um, like that song was like what in 2000s? Um, yeah. Just now, I'm just gonna take the blow dryer again, use it on cool, just to keep dry all of the like I can see the little sparks of spray. Because it's already pre-styled, it's not like I could take it out of the style and mess it up. So I'll just comb the baby hairs back up a little bit. Start in the middle, so I do like a little, a little slit. Okay. Now you see that? And then I just careful, careful, care for, carefully. What the hell's wrong with me? She, I know how to pronounce my words. Carefully. All right natural so so that's kind of what I'm doing right now So I'm going to be using Kisses Edge Fixer Maximum Hold and this one is in watermelon and I'm going to comb them down because they may be a little long. I want to cut them down a little bit. You don't want really like long baby hairs. It's not cute at all. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to just cut the baby hairs and Space. Like I said, it's kind of pushed down on my forehead, so I don't want to, you know, OD with my hair. But, um, okay. And I'll kind of put it this way. See, I have that one going this way, and in the middle, I have going to this direction. It's not that long, which is really good.
I'm just gonna hold this down really tight because I want my edges to be perfect. So now is styling this hair. Now that it's tied down, I don't know how I want to style her. I have a few ideas I'm gonna share with you guys right now. Hey you guys, please don't be mad, but I styled her off camera because I just feel like when I can see it right in front of my face, I style it better. But I didn't do anything that you guys can do, so please don't be mad at me. All I literally did was, as you can see, I added a rubber band right here. So I just took like the ends of each section, and there's five. And it comes with this piece of like, it comes with this right here. And this piece is actually shorter than the rest of the hair. And I just put it in a rubber band. That's all I did. In a rubber band, and I just kind of tightened it so that that comes down um, my face a little bit. So it's like a look. And then I just added the butterfly clips towards the end of. So as you can see, it's one, two, three. And then there's a fourth one. So I just added all the butterfly clips on the fourth section. And I have the dark pink, the purple, the blue, the lime green, and the yellow. It kind of matches the little drink that I have on my shirt. Um, and it's very summery, it's very cute. Um, and I kind of played with the hair a little bit because when I first got it, it was really compressed and like straight. And I don't want it like that. I kind of want like a big, like really like crimped situation where it's like very 90s crimps with the butterfly clips and like the twists. So that is all for this video. This is how it looks. Oh my God, this wig is like amazing. I love it. I have nothing bad to say. This wig is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Go buy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so happy to be back blessing your beautiful eyes. I love you guys so, so much. You know, you know it. Um, I have way more wig videos to come. Like, I think the next one is probably gonna make you have a heart attack. Like, seriously, the next one that I have, you're not ready for it. You're, you're not ready for it. And I think I'm gonna do it in two colors too. Anyway, subscribe if you're not. Like this video, let me know below what you think. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. But until then, keep slaying.